Welcome to Push Cause. The show that tells the story of your neighborhood. Meet the people. See the places. Hear the stories. Make up your community on Push Pause. Push Pause. Freezing the frame on local life. Freezing the frame on local life. Freezing the frame on local life. On Push Pause. Stevens Institute of Technology is far ahead of New Jersey's plan for 20% alternative fuels by 2020. Stevens Institute of Technology is a, uh, an institution that's been around since 1870. We just celebrated our 140th anniversary. The Institute over the last five to seven years has committed to save uh, between 30 and 40 percent on our energy cost. The school expanded its solar panel system, adding carport panels to the A Street parking lot, in addition to panels in other locations that include the top of the library and Schaefer Center. We have presently most of our facilities occupied by solar panels. The A Street parking lot has construction solar panels, as does the eastern portion landscaped area of the Davison Lab has uh, ground mounted panel systems. So we've moved very aggressively into the solar panel avenue. The solar panels are one of many major steps Stevens is taking to lower energy costs for the school. We're saving approximately 15 to 20 percent at this time. We have maximized our light potential. We have, as I said, panels on almost every roof facility that can generate maximum output. Mark Bird was in charge of the project. Uh, right now, the, uh, the solar systems that we have uh, on the library and these additional panels here feed into an inverter uh, that then picks up, that supplies power to the uh, athletic center. Technically, it picks up about 25 to 30 percent of the power production or consumption from the Schaefer Gym. It's fairly substantial. The uh, roofing system that's exposed uh, behind the ground-based systems that we looked at earlier, the, the cost of the installation today allows developers to incorporate or integrate the solar into completely new roofing systems for the owners of these particular facilities. And unlike five years ago it was strictly a solar installation, now the concern about replacing the roof being a capital expenditure to the owner has been erased. Bird's plan will put Stevens far ahead of New Jersey's goal of 20% clean energy sources by 2020. The state of New Jersey uh, committed themselves to uh, a renewable portfolio standard of 20%, and uh, they're on their way to meeting that commitment. 